Massive rally today at the Open. Jay Powell was, is being reappointed. He's up for confirmation for reappointment into the market like that. Rally big time. I thought we were just going to go parabolic here. But the market rolled over today, and it was a good trading day overall. We had some nice shorts. Crude oil was the highlight on the short side. Stock index shorts as well. And plus 3,900 on the 200K portfolio. 450 on the 50K portfolio with just one trade. And the trade, let's look at the 50K portfolio first. SR Counter Trend 3, we're looking at a seven contract set up there. So about 450 per contract. And so just one trade in the 50K portfolio. Let's look at the 200K portfolio. We'll go over the highlights first. Crude oil, short trade here, short trade here, short trade here. Nice shorts on crude. Long trade on Cobra Crude Aggressive. Small loss there. And then natural gas, which needs to roll over today to NGF22 with the at symbol in front of it. Make sure you wait till about 4.45 to do that. Central's time because TradeStation, it won't work right at 4. TradeStation has to update the data on their side. So natural gas, let's look at gold. Gold, we had a short trade here to uh, end the day strong. The first trade was a loser on the long side, kind of like Friday. The short trade rollover was the highlight of the day in gold. So it was data short the market. First, it felt like uh, shorts were going against us, but it ended up being a, a good day to short the market. All the markets in general. Silver, uh, no trades. Copper, no trades. Soybeans, no trades. So slow day there. Let's go over the stock indexes now. ES, uh, such a drastic move on this chart. You, don't, you know, we're not used to seeing this sell-off. But uh, we got 60-minute breakout, which has been, um, you know, it's been hard to short this market on any level. And it's not natural for uh, a market to never go down. And we had some divergences we talked about earlier. And 60-minute breakout short captured both legs. This is kind of a classical pattern today that we had. And it's nice to see classical patterns, meaning you have a move uh, and then a counter trend move and then another move. And so nice day to short the market. A good gains there on 60-minute breakout short. 60-minute breakout long was profitable on the day. First trade um, closed the day or it closed the trade at a profit. Second trade was a loser, but overall was profitable. Night Trader VSD hit its profit target. Cobra 3 lost on the day, uh, minus 625 per contract. NASDAQ, EVP1, the first trade uh, was slightly negative. Second trade shorted, slightly profitable into the close. There, 60-minute breakout B. Uh, first trade was profitable. Second trade was a loser on the rollover, but profitable still because the first trade winner was bigger. And then QS3 did not trade. It just, this is carrying, this uh, daily P&L thing is carrying over, but there is no trade there. So those are the trades on the day. Good trading day. We talked about a VIX divergence. I'm going to show you that as well. I worked on this this weekend, made a video when it was taking that signal, and there was a counter trend move, if you'd watched that video, to get in on that. And um, so there's an opportunity to use a $1,000 stop loss for a potential, or a $2,000 stop loss, 100 points, for a potential $10,000 gain. And going back 20 years is only trades tw uh, t 20 times. We looked at this earlier, and so it's just a one-off strategy. It's one of our YouTube strategies, creating a membership site for this so that you'll have code for this, um, for these one-off strategies that are not part of our portfolio. They're more low-frequency daily chart stuff that we talk about or short-term uh, look-back windows. So um, potentially a good trade here. I don't know if it will retrace. It's possible you could retrace and get back in, but um, you'll have it for next the next trade, basically two uh, higher lows on the NASDAQ with two higher lows on the VIX. You shorted at the close minus 50, and you have the opportunity for some, some big gains here. 500-point trade is nice, nice to have. Would not anticipate this going into the Thanksgiving holiday, but we have been uh, extremely overbought. It created a lot of uh, what I consider to be air pockets with these divergences. Due for a 500-point pullback, which is only 3%. It's healthy pullback. It's not a market crash. And so it's normal to have these pullbacks in a bull market. So nice shorts today. Good good trading on the short side and good trading overall. It's a holiday shortened week. I emailed about that too if you're not on the email list. Holiday shortened week. Stock market closed on Thursday. Stock market closes early on Friday. That affects the futures as well. So um, also roll over today on natural gas. 
And those are the trades on the day for Monday, November the 22nd, 2021 for Thanksgiving. First trading day of Thanksgiving week. Two full days left this week. And then, like I said, Thursday and Friday are half days. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.